Hello and welcome to another edition of Dank Memes from Site19. Let's get right into the memes with this one. A foundation dealing with a mass containment breach. An attack from the Chaos Insurgency. Yeah, I've often, <laughs> I've often found a, like SCP containment breach the game, but not just that. The stories on the site sometimes have like a mass serious containment breach that threatens to release all sorts of really dangerous things into the world, and the Chaos Insurgency just thinks now's a good time to attack. <laughs> yes, let's just end up causing the destruction of the world because reason the chaos insurgency is so thinly defined on the scp wiki everyone always talks about like wouldn't it be interesting if this or that and the other thing on the chaos insurgency and i'm always like you know literally you could do any story with the chaos insurgency because th there's barely any canonical representation of them i know there's some people that have been working on uh alternative views of them that actually make them interesting but they really are so thinly defined they're just basically hey what if it was the scp foundation but eviler moving on to, uh this is a dank memes from site 19 specific <laughs> me <laughs> memes about memes toaster pick exists dank memes from site 19 comedy obtained yep meta meme humor Oh, this one bothers me. Dr. Bright, Dr. Cleft, killing Hitler a few days before his death. High fives. You know what bothers me the most about this is this is a reference to a tale I wrote called Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to utilize temporal anomalies in order to travel back in time to kill Hitler. I think I got that in one. Uh, <laughs> it's a long title for me to try to remember. But it also has Dr. Sumerian in it. They skipped the Dr. S it should have been. <laughs> Dr. Bright doesn't succeed in that. Dr. C Dr. Bright and Dr. Sumerian end up having an argument, and while they're doing that, Clef has also traveled back in time some other way and ends up killing Hitler before they get a chance. And also, it's not a few days before his death, it's when he dies. It's a self-fulfilling uh, bootstrap paradox sort of thing, where, like, Hitler dies in the bunker because Clef kills him. I'm the one that wrote the story, I know what's going on. Grim Dark characters. <laughs> Lol Foundation characters, the SCP Foundation. I guess that means there's room enough for both. It really is. Trying to explain 2521 in first person. Small brain. 343 meeting the gate guardian. Big brain. Checking if 096 tries to become a toaster. Mega brain. Checking if 682 recognizes the bodies in the water. Galaxy brain. Do you, though? You know, recognize the bodies in the water? I wonder... Since I'm a toaster, do I recognize the bodies in the water? This is supposed to be G Bush v. Gore, but it uses, uses Trump. They couldn't have found a picture of Donald. Uh, they couldn't have found a picture of Al Gore and Governor Bush from back. I mean, there's plenty of them available. Plus, there's plenty of them with uh, Al Gore looking really angry. Never ask a woman her age. Never ask a man his salary. Why not? Shouldn't be a See, this is a, that's so, that's so silly. Never ask a woman her age. You know what? Actually, it's never ask a woman her age. Never ask a man. It's never ask a woman her weight. Never ask a man his height. And never ask the SCP Foundation about SCP-055. I don't care about my salary or my age, and I don't think most women actually care about telling what their age is. The only reason they don't is because society has conditioned us all to be like those are bad things we shouldn't talk about. Same thing with the salary, to be honest with you. That way, if people don't talk about how much money they make, then the companies you work for can exploit you better because they'll pay certain people less without anyone knowing that they're getting paid less. <laughs> Yay for societal constructs that have no real meaning that keep you from... <laughs> uh, I don't know how this became a, uh, a sociopolitical thing. I guess it's just, be just who I am. Foundation. SCP-049... What is the pestilence? SCP-049. Good question. <laughs> Has no idea either. That's always been my view on it. I think the reason why he doesn't answer is because he really doesn't know. Old SCPs? New SCPs. I mean, I guess. The idea, <laughs> the idea is that old SCPs are simple, uh, but functional, and new SCPs are compl complex and hard to understand, maybe? Is that, is that what we're coming from here? I mean, uh, I believe the title of the uh, page was something along the lines of, I'm not saying either is better or worse, I'm just saying this is what they are. I don't know that that's necessarily true, either. There's old SCPs that are overly complex, and there are new SCPs that are simple. I don't even think it's a trend. I think it's just, we have these weird, like, 
we have ideas in our head of what the SCP wiki is without actually it being true. When you're stuck in a white void and you realize you have no mouth. Confused. <laughs> I don't know what this is from, but it does look pretty hilarious. Carl minding his own business. <laughs> Seals. Tough guy finger snapping. Coming for you, Carl. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be my... <laughs> I wonder if on the SCP Wiki, uh, F.U. Carl is going to be my, like, uh, magnum opus. I wouldn't mind. It doesn't bother me. It's just, I'm wondering if, out of everything I've written so far, is that going to be the one that stays the highest rated? Only time will tell. Welcome back, sir. Will you be making a statement? Can we have an interview, Mr. Tintin? Er, well, I... I think articles not starting the Foundation are better. I don't know if they're better, but some of them are pretty good. During the Broken Masquerade canon. UN. So, yeah, you got some pretty lit anomalies, Foundation. LMAO. <laughs> Wait until you see the unkillable lizard. UN. Though. What? <laughs> uh, I don't know where this is from. This is some pretty good artwork. Is this original to this McCain IRL fella, or did he take it from somewhere else? Either way, parry this <laughs> casual. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Reality, the Scarlet King. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> I really like this one. This is pretty good. The idea of the reality being just a metal fence and Scarlet King's outside just screaming, Let me in. Me talking about SCPs I really like. Dr. Samarian, let me stop you right there. Yeah, I do that a lot. <laughs> I have this, this uh, it's not weird, but uh, I have this thing where I, Every time somebody says something that I find even slightly objectionable, I'll be like, well, let me tell you what's really going on. And then I go into this long, overly complex explanation of what my opinion is, as though my opinion is complete and total fact. Uh, because it is. Waiter, get me a neck sandwich and make it snappy. I, I laughed so hard when I saw this the first time. I mean, my God. It's so good. Make it snappy. <laughs> I, I read the first half of it and was like, oh, I don't know. And then I read the second half and was like, oh, that's great. I went, you had me in, the, I'm not going to lie, you had me in the first half. And the second half, man. Ha ha, D class get killed every month. Stop. Just stop. They get amnesticized and relocated. Everyone understands that, except the ones uh, which would benefit, which the foundation would benefit more from keeping them exactly where they are and doing what they're doing. Uh, I can't help but think this should have been SCP instead of SPC sixteen oh nine exists. The GOC. Now this is an Avengers level threat. I'm pretty sure that's the chair that they mulched. Yes, this is a uh, that's about right. Wait for real. You know, I've never actually read, hold on, Survival, Education, Destruction, Protection, and Concealment. I am so, so sorry, but there is no fucking way, no matter what the GOC, whatever their mission statement is, there's no way the GOC would have the word destruction on their logo. I've only, I've never looked at this up close before. I always saw this and just thought that it was, ran, you know, whatever. That is, there's no way. No, what organization would do that? <laughs> are we the bad guys? I think we are. Look at our logo. It says destruction right there on it. Yeah, but it says education right above it and survival and concealment and protection. Yeah, but it says destruction. That's a, that's a good point. Huh. Are we the baddies? I think you might be. You're wrong. I didn't say anything. Doesn't matter. You're wrong. Yeah. Handsome devil, though. Some creating a facility in the late 1890s, holding people against their... Ooh, these... Ugh. Using people to test on extremely dangerous entities, having corrupt and powerful people to run the most dangerous facility, creating your own enemies and going to war with them. The SCP Foundation. Built on blood. That's about as accurate as it can be. I, I think that whoever created this might not be uh might not have english as a first language but it's still incredibly accurate anyway it's okay to ask for help you're not a burden murder is okay i feel like this would have been better the murder is okay would have been better if it'd been put at the end because it would have been it's okay to because you know english readers read left to right and then 
uh, top to bottom, so it would have been, it's okay to ask for help, you're not a bird, and your feelings matter, murder is okay, instead of this murder is okay in the middle, which feels like it kind of spoils... <laughs> I mean, I get what they're doing. Maybe this is, and maybe this is a reference to something that already exists, and that's the reason why it's this way. I just really think they should flip those two. It's okay to ask, because you would have been, it's okay to ask for help. You're not a burden. Your feelings matter. Murder is okay. Either way, still pretty funny. UIU, I demand to be taken seriously. Other GOIs. No. I, you know... The ethics committee used to not be taken seriously in in universe or out of universe until there was some stuff written about how they secretly were a lot more competent than they are. I feel like UAU could use something along those lines because even in the ones where they're, you know, bare, they're competent or they do their jobs, they're still subservient to all the other GOIs that are like more serious, like the Foundation. Foundation, we finally contained SCP-1425. Celebrities will act normal now. Celebrities. Yeah, I'm putting something on YouTube where I'm building the planet Saturn without. <laughs> I have no idea what the context for that is, but yeah, I, yeah, crazy is crazy. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're reminded when I upload new videos. And if you like this content and you want to see more like it, or you want to see more of the You're Wrong About series, or you want to see more of the Verses and Tales series, or you want to see more writing advice, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian. There will be a link at the end of the video. There'll be a link in the description and there'll be a link in the first comment because I am nothing if not thirsty when it comes to getting Patreon backers. Shut up. Join the people on your screen right now in supporting this content long term and letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday.